Guys, we're gonna grill up some beautiful chicken thighs on the wood fire grill today. Now guys, usually when I do these type of recipes, um, I'm kind of showing you like a brisket pulled pork, you know, we're more involved type stuff. Today, we're gonna take it down a notch and just do some grilled chicken thighs like I would do on a weeknight dinner. Okay, nothing fancy about them. We're going to use the grill setting, right? Nothing crazy. We're gonna have some smoking pecan pellets in there to add a little smoke flavor. Use that wood fire technology button, right? But really, this is about as simple as you can get. Now, all I did was uh, I took a, a value package of uh, chicken thighs. They're boneless, skinless. They're gonna cook up pretty fast in there. Got them in a little gallon baggie. Threw a little olive oil in there, right? A little hot sauce because you like a little caliente, right? And of course, we're adding my West Coast shake in there. Y'all wanna get some, link down below. Put in the comments of that order that CJ sent you, and maybe, maybe you get a little extra something in that bag, right? Or in the box, whatever. <laughs> so that takes us up to now. We got that chicken seasoned up. I got a bag of it right here. It's been chilling in the fridge for a few hours now. Got a nice, nice little time to marinate, right? That's it, we're gonna get outside, get those pellets in, uh, the smoky pecan pellets, guys. These are by far my favorite pellets for the wood fire grill. There's a link down below, use my link, it'll save you 10% on your order. Pretty damn good deal, all right? They burn longer, a lot cleaner, and they're really good for pretty much any protein you throw in there, all right? Before we get out on that grill, I do wanna mention, guys, that I do have four e-cookbooks. Let me stress the e-cookbook in there. They're downloadable, all for the wood fire grill and a few recipes for that wood fire oven. They're five bucks each, but if you buy all four in the bundle, it's 15 bucks, it'll save you a little bit of cash in this day and age. You need to save some cash, right? Right, okay, now let's go get that wood fire fired up. Hey y'all, time to get this bad boy on. Hello, how you doing? It's so on the grill setting. We're gonna turn that up to high time. Let's take it to 15 minutes. I don't think it'll take that long, but you know, just in case. Hit that wood fire flavor button, hit start. Let it go through the ignition process, that preheat, and we'll get our chickens on. Preheating is done. It says time to add the food. So team, let's add that food. Our chicken thighs down. That sizzle, sizzle. We're gonna go the top side down first. Get those good grill marks on there. And one more on. Chicken's on. Looking dang good. So what we're gonna do is shut this lid now. Give it some of that smoke as it's grilling, right? And these will just turn out magical. We'll have that good wood fire flavor. We're gonna give it two or three minutes on this side. Give it a flip, another two or three minutes, and then we'll check our temperatures with our lightning instant read. So basically we're gonna take these thighs to about 175, 180. Okay, with chicken thighs, you can kind of overcook them a bit. And that's what I tend to like to do with my chicken thighs. Same with like my wings and my legs, okay? Breasts, you do not want to overcook. You pull those at 160, let them rest, come up the temp, right? We want to give them enough smoke, get enough time on that grill, get the char on there that we like, get that wood fire flavor like we like, right? And if it's going to take it over the, you know, 170, 180 mark, not a stress, okay? Don't worry about it. Guys, like I said, this is just how I normally cook on my wood fire for weeknight dinners. This isn't, you know, we're not doing a big old brisket for the video, right? So this is just kind of how I take it through a normal weeknight dinner, okay? Cool? Cool. All right, let's get back to it. Let me give these a flip. That chicken's looking nice. These are cooking up real fast, as thighs do. Looking good. All right, another couple minutes. Get that good smoke. Gave it a little bit more time. We're gonna give it another little flip. And we'll finish it out like this. We want to check some temps. All right, 154. There you go, still in the 150s. So a couple minutes each way, and then we're flipping it for the third time. And then we'll, this is how we're going to finish it up, all right? Hey, y'all, chicken's done. Let's check the temps. Yep. All right, cool, we're good. Let's go ahead and pull these off, and uh, we'll give them a little bite. All right, y'all, we got the chicken off the grill. Got me a little piece right here. I mean, I know it's good. This is what I do normally. This is my go-to, all right? Quick, easy. You got about 10 minutes or so flipping back and forth till you get the chicken where you want it to be. Uh, gives it a great color with that smoke, great flavor. 
got the twang from the hot sauce. Got my good West Coast shake on there. So grab some below if you want to get some, right? If you want to get one of these wood fire grills, as always, there's a link down below in the video description. It is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more to use it. The knives, cutting boards, uh, thermometers, pellets, all that stuff, all links down below in the video description. If you'd like to become a show producer, like all the awesome people scrolling in front of me, people that love a good chicken thigh for dinner, little rice, little vegetables, there are two ways to join up. Either you hit that Patreon link in the video description, or hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.